What's up guys, welcome back and welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're cooking dinner with the pipe that I caught and took home the uh, last week. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. That's a good start to the morning. Beautiful little pike. I think I'm actually going to keep this fish and take it home and, to make uh, we're some. We're gonna cook fish cakes, Thai style fish cakes, Tot Mun Bla, I think it's called in Thai. Actually, I'm pretty tired and I'm not really in the mood for cooking, but um, I already took the pike out of the freezer, so we'll try and jam our way through this. Uh, I'm also sort of missing a few key ingredients, so um, yeah, we'll just have to freestyle our way through. But yeah, we're cooking with the pike. It's all thawed out, and I think I got around maybe maybe a 700 grams. I think 700 grams of pike, and then I got my fresh ingredients here. I got some herbs, sweet basil, some lime. And some onions, chilies over here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna wash my hands and start cooking and uh, hopefully you're gonna enjoy this as much as I will enjoy when it's done and I can eat some delicious Thai fish cakes. Woo! I'm ready to start the fish cakes. I got my pike and then we'll need some red curry paste and I like also to add some extra garlic, um, black pepper and just a little bit of fish sauce. Oh. I forgot, almost forgot. <clears throat> we need a little bit of flour as well just to make the fish cake stick together. Pike is actually a really good fish to do this because it'll, um, the texture of the pike, once it's been in the processor, it gets that really springy, authentic Thai style uh, uh, texture. So yeah, but you'll see when we're done. I'm just gonna throw the ingredients in and start blitzing. Curry paste. About two teaspoons, uh, one clove of garlic. I'm just gonna chip it up a little bit here. Black pepper, a little bit of fish sauce, and some flour. And you don't need a lot of flour, it's just a little tiny bit like that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water because it's getting a little bit, um, it's a little bit too dense. Just a little bit of water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The mix is done now, the fish mix. Maybe you could tell it has this sort of like wiggly texture, sort of springy and bouncy. And that's exactly what we're looking for. I used the food processor for about five to 10 minutes and uh, it makes this really nice smooth paste, but I still sort of try and, I'll see if I can get the camera to focus, to keep some texture. So there's gonna be little bits of actual fish and uh, not just all mashed up in the cakes. But yeah, that's it. You just put it into a bowl so we can start mixing in the herbs. The herbs, the herb. Green beans, you're supposed to use uh, like the original Thai recipe, you would use like a long bean, like a snake bean, but uh, they didn't have any at the store, so I'm just using regular, um, just green beans. This is uh, sweet basil, then I have a lime. Actually, you're supposed to use kaffir lime leaves, but same story, there weren't any at the store and um, I was on my way back from work feeling tired and I didn't feel like spending the whole afternoon shopping for ingredients so I'm just gonna zest a little bit of this lime into the mix and uh, hopefully that'll do. Oh, I am making a mess. Mm. Wow, that smells really good already. It's just uh, the sweet basil and the lime zest. I'm getting hungry. Super easy, super quick actually. 
Now we're just gonna fry this and make a dipping sauce and then we'll have dinner. I'm ready to make uh, my dipping sauce now. Uh, this is just a sweet chili sauce from the from the store. I could make my own but um, like I said a little lazy today so I'm just gonna dress this one up. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. I think the ones you buy in the store are a little bit too sweet and a little bit too gloopy. So I'm just gonna mix this together and then I got cucumber and shallots and then some fresh chili because I wanted to have a little bit more kick. So I'm just gonna mix this together. Um, I got some oil heating up here in the pan and we got the fish and one tip because this uh, paste here is super sticky so if you keep a bowl of warm water um, to dip your spoons and fingers in while you're making the fish cakes otherwise it gets messy really really quickly trust me let's see if we can get a good shot like that fingers and you can do these any size you like I just like them like this this size about if you shape it into something that's similar to an egg and then press it flat like that. and really that's it as simple as that um, you just fry them for a few minutes on each side until they're nice and golden and crispy. And uh, then you're done. I'm just gonna prepare some vegetables for us to eat and fry the rest while I fry the rest of the fish cakes. And I'll get a shot uh, once it's all done before we start eating. All right, that's it, I'm done cooking. Um, I got some rice over there on the stove as well, but that's dinner for tonight. Chak Moon Bla with pike uh, and lazy dipping sauce and some fresh veggies. I don't know if you can, if it translate into the camera, but can you see the texture is really sort of springy. Here we go. Mm. That is just delicious. Try with some with some sauce. Saucy. Mm. Woo. It's hot. Wow. Wow, that turned out really, really well. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna go set the table. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you get some inspiration from this recipe. Let me know what you think, give me a comment, give me a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Wow. Alright, no, no, it's mighty good. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Man. Ich wurde bei Kopf, doch.